know that the, the cross of Christ is the new uh, tree of life. Many people have never known about this whole thing of the tree of life and what really happened. And I like to speak about this so much because uh, uh, if you understand these small facts, you'll be able to understand salvation, okay? So the cross is the new tree of life, okay? So remember, in the when you talk about in Genesis uh, 3.22, the Bible says, And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us. Okay? They have eaten from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. To know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man, and he placed, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword, which turned turned every way to keep uh, the way of the tree of life. So, basically, God chased Adam and Eve from the garden of Eden. And you may ask, why did he have to chase them from the garden? He could have just have told them to stay and uh, do their own thing. But he was chasing them for one sole reason, so that they don't eat from the tree of life because they were already sinners. Are you seeing this one? So they were chased out and they could not be able to access the tree of life. And it all through the life, all through humanity, they have been trying to... Um, access that tree but they're accessing it in the wrong way people want to uh, people want to have eternal life they want to live forever but they can't know how to live forever because god has already told them no you can't run away get out from here because you sinned and you will not live forever you're going to die so now remember god is a very merciful god he was always merciful from the beginning Having chased them from the Garden of Eden, he said, I'm not going to give you this tree of life the easy way. I'm going to give you this tree of life, but I'm going to make new rules that you're going to use so that you can access back again the tree of life. And that's now why we see the reason of the tree of life. Now, let, let, me, let me show you why, why do you think the tree of life was important. You know, most of the people have never really realized why, why was there a tree of life in the first place of the Garden of Eden? Let me show you. Revelation uh, 22, verse 2. It tells us exactly why the tree of life was in the Garden of Eden. See here. In the midst of the street of it, now this is talking about the river and the tree of life. Now, this is in the millennial kingdom when God will reinstall again back the tree of life. Now, see, this is why the tree of life was there in the first place. In the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river was there, was there the tree of life, okay? God is going to reinstall back again the tree of life. Now, you'll wonder why, for what reason? Which bear 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Okay? So this tree is to heal the nations. To heal the nations. Now, if there is healing, it means then you will not die. Whenever you get sick, whenever you're in trouble, whenever things go wrong, whenever you're pricked by something, you're always healed by this tree of life. And it will bear 12 fruits, meaning in a year, you'll just be going on the day of your birthday. I'm just paraphrasing. I had someone talk about that, <laughs> and I think that will be cool. Probably in your day of your birthday, you go there and you eat of that tree, and uh, you know you add your life more and things like that. So it will be like for adding life, healing the nations. But now, Adam and Eve... They were chased out from this garden. So how will they get back again to eat from that tree so that they can have life? What are they going to do? What are they going to do? And we see the Bible tells us something. When you eat of this tree, you become righteous. This tree makes you righteous. Let me show you something here. Proverbs. Proverbs 11. 30. If they could have eaten from the tree of life, they just run. They know we have just eaten from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And now they run and eat from the tree of uh, life. They could have had righteousness immediately. But God said, no, no, no. Chase those guys out. They have messed 
everything. See, the fruit of the righteousness is a tree of life. And he that winneth souls is wise. So, the fruit of the tree of life is giving you righteousness. And righteousness comes by the tree of life. So, these guys, if they could have stayed there and they eat immediately from the tree of life, they could have had righteousness. They could have had righteousness. They could have been healed of their disease and of their, 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 the things that they had done. And then they could have lived forever. No, but God said, no, no, chase those guys out. Let them go. Let them go. So now, we may ask ourselves, how do we get back here and we eat again so that we can have life? What can we do? How can, where can we find this tree again? Or what do we need to do? Now, let's see something here. God created a way. He created a way that people can go back again there. Mark, the book of Mark 10 and uh, 45, God created a way of how people can go back there again and eat that tree once again. But before that, he said something here. In Mark 10 for, uh, to 45, he said, For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life for a ransom for many. So now the only way we can get back here is through the life which is given by Jesus. Okay? Jesus is giving us life. And uh, that's the only way we can be healed. Are you seeing this one? So we can be healed through Jesus' life. Okay? Are you seeing this one? Now let me show you. So, what does he say about himself? And why, how can we know that for sure through Jesus we can have this life? John, John 6 and uh, 51. This is how we can know that Jesus can give us back that life. He says, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. Oh, so we have another bread which came. If any man eats of this bread, he shall live forever. What you're looking for is not in AI. What you're looking for is not in changing mankind. What you're looking for is not found in this scientist of the world. If you're looking to live forever, just eat from the bread. Now let's continue. And the bread that I will give is my flesh. The flesh of Christ, that is where we find the bread of life. Which I will give for the life of the world. Do you want to have life? Stop chasing AI. Stop chasing Elon Musk. Stop chasing all these uh, gates of hell. Stop ch chasing uh, uh, the, the world doctors and every other person. Chase Christ. He will give you life. He will heal you. He heals, he heals all our diseases. How does Christ heal all our diseases? Because he's the bread of life. He's the original tree of life. In Christ you find life. Jesus will give us life. He will give us life. And we will go back again to eating from that tree of life. He is the tree of life. Jesus is the life. He is the way, the truth, and the life. So now, how do we get to eat? This body of Christ. How do we get to eat from Christ? So that we can have this life that he has promised. How do we get to eat? The Bible tells us in Ephesians 2, 16. He tells us how we will eat. And that he might reconcile both unto God. If you want to be reconciled and taken back again to the Garden of Eden. And that he may reconcile both unto God. In one body by the cross having slain the enmity thereby. So God will slay the enmity, the enmity which has always had between a man and him. <clears throat> we will be reconciled to God through the cross, the cross of Jesus where he died. He died for our sins so that he can reconcile us with God. So if you want to eat back again the tree of life, you want to have life again? The only life that you can have is through Jesus Christ. You go and face the cross of Christ. And from that cross is where you'll eat the bread of life who is Jesus. And from this bread of life who is Jesus, you will have life forevermore. And you will go back again and you will eat from the tree of life. Like we have read in Revelation. 
Now, the Bible tells us that this Jesus, he was hung on a tree. That tree was a representation of the tree of life which was lost in the Garden of Eden. God is trying to reinstall it back again. Let's see the book of Acts. The book of Acts, um, Acts 5.30. Acts 5.30. And we will see Jesus was hung on a tree. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you slew, slew and hung on a tree. Why was Jesus hung on a tree? What was the reason why Jesus was hung on a tree? You may ask. The answer is found in Galatians. Galatians 3, 13. Galatians 3, 13. This is why Jesus was hung on a tree. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. He was cursed. He received all the curses that we got on that day. So that now, through him being cursed for us, then we can go back again and eat from the tree of life. We can have life once again. That the blessing of Abraham, Abraham was told, you will be blessed and your seed will be blessed and the whole world will be blessed through you. So now this blessing can come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. It is only by faith Believing that Christ died for our sins, he was buried and rose again according to the scriptures. That's the only way you can get back reconciliation between you and God. And that way that you are chased from the Garden of Eden because Adam and Eve, they are our fathers, we still have that curse with us unless we have believed that Jesus did reconcile us from the cross, at the cross with God. That's the only way you can get back again and eat from the tree of life. Brothers and sisters, are you believing that Jesus died for your sins? That's the only way you can be reconciled.